Hey, what's going on, guys? It's DJ here with Money by the Mall. I hope everybody's having a fan had a fantastic week. It's Saturday. I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, we want to invite you all to subscribe to the channel and you know hit the like button, uh, you know, and the little bell so you get a notification when we come on. I know it's been like a week and a half since we uh, done a video, but uh, you know we've been busy. Uh, like I said, I have a logistics company and I also have a moving company. So uh, yeah, so I'll stay pretty busy. But anyway, we're here in my studio here where we, where we make a little music, you know, and uh, you know, studio slash kid's old bedroom. <laughs> so anyway, uh, hope you all are doing great. Uh, so um, we're gonna discuss, is it worth having your own authority so when I get back in a minute you can let me know in the comments if you think it's worth it because I'm gonna tell you right now it is Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, it's DJ here. Um, the topic today, of course, is is having your own authority worth it. And let me tell you right off the bat, it's, yes, it is. It's definitely worth it. And not just because you're going to make some money. It's just you know, it's money. It's freedom. It's it's uh, you know, it's time spent with your family at home and you know in the carry and not making all the money okay you're the carrier you make the money the top three things we worry about is cash flow making money it's cash flow freedom spending time with the family and uh, going where you want to go but you know, of course, you got to go where the freight goes. So, but yeah, you can make money uh, doing it. Is it always going to be thousands and thousands of dollars every week? No, of course not. You're going to have breakdowns. You're going to have tire blows. You're going to have hoses break. You're going to have you know fan belts busting off. You're going to have you know trailer flats. You're going to have all kinds of good stuff. But uh, you know, it's all part of the game. You're going to have that no matter where you go. But at least when it does happen. You're not a company driver sitting on the side of the road and not getting paid for it. You already made a shitload of money the week before to make up for that hour or two you're going to be on the side of the road. Okay, you know, you know, you know, you can get the fuel discounts too. You know, everybody's talking about you know you don't get the fuel discounts. Sure you do. You know, with C through C H Robinson, I get twenty six cents off a gallon. Okay, you know, you know, so I mean that's good for me, and it's also a fuel card that I use. You know, and if I need an advance, they give it to me. I mean, you know, this everybody talks about, you know, how shitty the brokers are and stuff like that. I mean, and I'm going to do some videos on the brokers I use, but I haven't had any problems getting loads at all. Okay, there's plenty of loads out here. Uh, we started doing the box trucks for Amazon in Florida. It's not worth the damn. I wouldn't even mess with it unless you're up in Jacksonville. But where I'm at, it's just there's no work down here for that. So we just we just kind of shied away from that, just sticking to the tractor trailer work and uh, stuff like that. But anyway, the authority. That's what's great about the authority is that it's just the freedom. You know, I go out for a week. 
I come home, okay, on the weekends. Unless there's a better load or I don't feel like going home or whatever. It's up to me. Uh, the money. The money's there. There's so it's so so many short drivers out there right now. The money's there. Two fifty, three dollars a mile. You know, you're making. So yeah, it's you know your insurance is a little high. Depends on where you live. In Florida, it's kind of high. I mean, if you go through uh, what is it uh, the big one, Geico, whatever the fuck it is, uh, it's ridiculous. Uh, Progressive, I believe it is. Yeah, they're ridiculous. I wouldn't recommend them. I think it was like twenty-six thousand dollars. They wanted to charge me up front to get my my insurance. I went in with another company, five thousand down, twenty-two hundred bucks a month. Okay, plus the truck note on the truck. Even though you know three, four thousand dollars a week a month. You know, I think the truck is uh, one of the trucks are costing us uh, eighteen hundred a month. Plus the insurance, okay, that truck's doing like twenty grand, twenty five thousand a month. So you do the math, okay? You just got to stay busy. You got to keep going. Don't stay home too long. You know what I mean? Just get home, see the family, go back to work. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little short video on uh, the authority. Is it worth it? Yes, it's worth it. Uh, you know, I just. Don't see no sense in work for a carrier. There's plenty of freight out there. I mean, if you have the, uh, you know, don't, don't go out there broke and do it, okay? I mean, make sure you have at least two to three months of operating money. I mean, you don't need that because, you know, if you have cash flow problems, you can use factoring and you get paid the next day. Uh, the company I use is really easy, you know, I. I send them the paperwork. Next day, the money's in my bank. So cash cash flow problem shouldn't be. I'm talking about major. Make sure you got money put back. If you're buying a used truck and the truck goes down, you got money to pay for it, because that's going to be your biggest problem. If not having the capital to operate your business correctly, uh, so you want to make sure you have like two or three months. I would, you know, I say 25 grand put back. So if you have a major breakdown, you should be good. You don't really need that much, but you know, if you have it, just leave it in the bank. So you have it. You know, you're going to be doing seven to ten thousand a week hauling. Okay, your expenses probably run you about twenty five hundred a week, if that. So you're going to be making you know six, five six thousand dollars a week, depending on where you're running and how hard you're running. So yes. Having your own authorities, worth it. I hope you guys like what I'm talking about here. Please subscribe, ring the bell, give us one of these. Uh, it's DJ here with Money by the Mile, and I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. And if you have any comments or questions, put them down there, and I'll get back to you. I'll answer them for you, and we'll get all your questions answers. Have a great weekend. See you later.